This is the first time we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams. Consciousness. Oh, wow, that's Every true. Time is in someone else's body. Oh, also, this is for you. Ew, what is that? Huh? What's this little floaty thingy? Like a bunny? It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! We're both small things that float! Aww, all the things that make Paimon special got copied! You look nothing alike, Paimon. With the traveler from now on, people won't remember Paimon because she isn't unique anymore! Ugh, Paimon, come on. You look nothing alike. <laughs> you it's only a flying device but you're the traveler's irreplaceable friend <sighs> you're so good at comforting people nahida if only the traveler was as smart as you excuse you i'm on i've located where the false god is time is of the essence so let's skip to it I was spoiled on this boss. It looks quite nice. Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? Nah. No. I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Great Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Okay, no Kami, the prodigal, everlasting lord of arcane wisdom. Hmm. Capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the sages put into this? Strife is engraved upon every god and every Gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? <laughs> Lowly creature, know your place. He got called for. <laughs> the strife engraved upon a gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless. Driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Hmm. Okay, sure. what do I do? <laughs> Shine down. What do those symbols mean? Do I activate them? Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wow, this song. Time to go. Oh, 
Oh. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Well, this is oddly familiar. Same scene from Child's boss fight. Oh no. Now the Transformer is complete. It looks amazing. Wow. I probably need Sean Lee here. I need a shield. Ow. Time to act. Ow. Ah. What am I supposed to do here? What? Okay, so apparently nothing because uh, the cutscenes keep appearing. The game probably got tired of me running around doing nothing. to be a battle between gods yet you choose to hide behind a mortal and now you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself boor is that how he takes the noses from Nahida? the data collection is almost complete You've tried to take my gnosis from me? Oh, never mind. <sighs> we just concluded the 168th loop. 168 what times we've been battling Skarmouche? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Uh, uh Cyclobunny. <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. How will ordinary people know how to defeat the boss? Maybe the ones with the visions, but the other ones? I thought Sino was not connected to the Akasha.
Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boar. First sage of boar? I oh. am the all-knowing god. Burn to oblivion! Share my knowledge! Adorn my nice. Why do they always run away from me? Hold to the bloody shield. If he will stop moving, Skirmouche, please stop moving. The rating calling scoring wish insulin that was perfect. Oh my god, this music! I don't have the time to listen to it. Illusion shattered. Is pain. Oh. Don't ask me how I'm dodging all of that. The bunny's going to defeat him. I don't need to do anything. Yep, the cyclo bunny did it. Honestly, I didn't know what I was doing while well, fighting Skaramouche. I don't know how I won that. <laughs> humans, filthy humans. Skarmouche. That's mine. Don't even try. I'll never. Oh, the irony. I'll never go back. He used the electronosis when he told himself that he wanted to cut ties with his creator, the Raiden Shogun. to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadabata. This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Well, this is the place. I... We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? Yep. But the one standing over there is... We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation in the next samsara and left a trail of clues, all in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Wait, no, I can't. So if she's removed, that means that the corruption will be banished. And I will guess that every previous knowledge will be erased as well. Removing me from Ermin's soul means I essentially will never have existed in this yeah. world. But this... This is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. Hmm. 
no need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they... They're not gonna make me cry. ...can completely <laughs> repel the madness. Only dreams... They're not. ...can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to be having a new tree. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the or one not. who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. It's been so long, I forgot her name. <laughs> oh, so this is how the Elisor is cured? Oh, so Kali is cured as well. People of Sumeru, may you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. We've just saved the world, right? Eh, uh, maybe. So I... Why am I crying? Yeah, he doesn't remember her. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Yup. Aima doesn't remember. Huh. That sucks. Even if you tell them the truth, they'll have no recollection, so... Okay, what's going on? This Skoramoosh again? Oh, this guy. I've been waiting here far too long. But finally, I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally Ugh. paid off. You freak. <laughs> I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Since you were in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Yeah, he probably wanted to get rid of Skirmoosh. All right. That's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. Yeah, you mean the Gnosis. For example... Yeah. <laughs> the Gnosis. Go away. <laughs> Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the god of wisdom. <laughs> no, you don't. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the heavenly principles? Awaken the heavenly principles? I wonder if they destroy the Electronosis, will that destroy Raiden Shogun as well? Or are the gods independent from their noses? To gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> That's not I. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? How about erasing all your yep. other segments? 
He's not gonna do that. <laughs> so this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. And even if he got rid of them, he just make more, so... Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? Yeah. I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> well, have you confirmed that it's complete? So he can remotely destroy them? <laughs> what? Here, take it. Okay. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course... I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Ugh, that's none of your business. Go away. You already have the electro-gnosis. Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. <laughs> no, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Oh, judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to oh, say. Oh, here we go. She's gonna fall into his trap. What? She probably gave him her noses. Why are gods in this world so weak? Makes no sense. Good morning! How are you feeling today? Good to hear. It looks like we've recovered pretty well. Not even Tainari could stop us from going out now, right? We'll probably raise our memories here as well. What the hell is going on? Okay, so at least the traveler knows. Okay, so the Akasha has been turned off. Come on, traveler, mm. let's go. All oh, of them should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, there's Kave. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. Well, I almost became a sage. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kave, light of the Kasharawar. Oh my god, he's so Besides, annoying. as a master builder and craftsman, so sarcastic. chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Oh, you... See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. No one can. <laughs> I'll hate them. What was your first clue? Well, then you might as well move out of my house. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. Ugh. And don't change the subject. You, a sage? <laughs> what a joke. The academia might as well just close tomorrow. <laughs> you know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. They love each other. <laughs> Hello, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> what a fantastic night. I'm still immersed in all the happiness and joy, like a candle floating on water. So are we, and that's why we're here to talk with you. Is there anything you want to know? You mean, what happened after the doctor put you to sleep? Yeah, did he take the noses? You guessed correctly. Ugh. The top-ranked Fatui Harbingers, up to number three, possess power comparable to that of gods. 
How? I was no match for him in that kind of situation. That's just stupid. However, in spite of the bad situation, I still managed to make a fair deal with the doctor. I'm sure you remember the entity that changed your fate, the Heavenly Principles. In fact, the Heavenly Principles has been quiet since the Conria disaster 500 years ago. I used this point as leverage against the doctor. I told him that the Heavenly Principles may be awakened if I destroyed a Gnosis. Although it was just a bluff, he still fell for it. And as for what I exchanged for the Gnosis... Yeah? The exchange served as both punishment for the doctor, as well as a boon of new knowledge that I couldn't refuse as the God of Wisdom. That doesn't seem fair. Is that where you're headed next? Fontaine, the Nation of Justice? Yep. As far as I know, that nation operates in a judicial system. It's probably a lot worse from Sumeru's situation. Does their Archon personally judge people? No, there's a Chief Justice in Fontaine. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fosalor, won't preside over individual trials. However, even then, Fosalor will still make herself present at just about every trial. It seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. As Archon, she still reserves the right to influence the final verdict. Anyway, let's just say she's got... Uh, a very unique personality. <laughs> Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Huh? You mean... About your brother. Oh, you know something? While you were resting at Gandarbaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information on your brother. Yeah, there shouldn't be any information if it's from the outside world. Yeah, isn't ermine soul a repository for all the information and memories of Tvat? So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. This is true in your case. Ermin Soul indeed does not have any information on you. However, there must be something different about your brother. Because as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. What? There's only hmm. one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. Really? This makes any sense! Wasn't this your first trip to Tevat? Hmm... According to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. After the Conria disaster, he began his journey through the Seven Nations of Tevat. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansel records on him suddenly become fuzzy. So maybe he's a uh, time traveler? Sure that somebody... For reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. And we still mean is, like made as a second chance or something that he was unable to do back in the past. Maybe Lumine doesn't even exist in this world. Explain how he somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the descenders. A very mm -hmm. important part of the intel was about this world's descenders. descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler, you are Tevat's fourth descender. Okay. So is Lumin like the fourth huh? descender so the trying to change something but hasn't been able to do so? And her brother isn't even one of them? That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information! And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the God of Wisdom. There are many questions in my heart as well. 
I will need some time to go through each one of them. Yeah, we need to reflect on that. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Sumeru. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. Paimon, sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. Alright, so I'm finally done with Meru's story quest. I think there's another quest after this one where Dane Self appears. I'll check that one out. So I'll probably start with Fontaine next year. Regarding Aether being originally from Tabat and Lumine being from the outside world, I'm guessing that Aether was the original character who was unable to prevent Conria's destruction. So somehow other beings were created to try and prevent this from happening. Lumine being the fourth attempt had tried to save Conria. I have no idea. This is just me speculating. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next episode. Bye.